No! No! My horse! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, last episode, I know we ended off in a shrine over there. We'll go back to that shrine in a minute. But I just thought this was rather suspicious. Oops. Sorry. I got a new horse, by the way. And I don't think he likes me right now. Probably because I just dropped a chest on his head. Anyways, I wanted to see what was in this chest. I figured I'd bring you guys in to see. And it was an opal. That, that was worth it. <laughs> Anyways, let's go on back to that shrine. In between episodes, I kind of messed around a bit. Went exploring, fought some things. Caught this horse that is named Carmel. Because that was the first thing that popped in my head. And he still doesn't like me too much. But I think he's good enough to get me over to here. Good job, Carmel. Alright. Now, let's try the shrine out again. Alright. Okay, here we are. Now, I think, yeah, let's just go on in. We can skip that. So yeah, the main reason I did stuff off ep off episode, in between episodes, off camera, words, um, was so I could get used to the controls again, because I'm tired of playing this game and every video being me failing. <laughs> so hopefully I won't fail too much this time, now that I kind of know what I'm doing. There we go. I made it past the first thing. I don't know if I made it past the first thing before. I don't remember what I did before. When I turned on the game, I was just back at the beginning of the shrine. But hey, I made it past the second one, which I know I definitely did not do last time. Okay. Now, what are we doing here? It seems to be a puzzle. Anything interesting all the way up here? Mm, not really. Okay. Puzzle time. Uh, that one apparently did not get put there in time. I don't know if that one's actually gonna do what I need it to. No, it's not. Let's try right there. Alright. Looks good. Uh, whoops. I think I need a third one. Right there. There we go. We did it! Yay! Now just head on down here. Alright. This is going so much better than last time. Oh, and that's the end of it. But we want these special chests, which I think is up this waterfall somewhere. So let's have fun looking for that. No! Oh. And we're back down to the bottom. Yay! Alright. Let's see if I can do this a little bit better this time. I didn't die! That's some kind of progress, right? Alright, we made it to the top here, but I have no idea where the chest is at. I could have sworn it was right up here at the top. <gasps> okay, I think I'm going to give up on the secret chest before I die. Let's just grab our little orb and get out of here. It probably wasn't going to have anything good in it anyways. 
Yes, we're a hero. Yay. Okay, give me my orb, please. Thank you. One more and we'll be able to get a upgrade. All right. Now those stupid spikes are gone. We don't have to kill ourselves every time we try to go in and out of that shrine. Now. Next, we head towards the blinking dot. Come on. Good job, Carmel. Alright, blinking dot looks like it's over this way, so let's... Maybe, if my horse will turn, head over this way. Ah, kill the goat! Nope, the goat was too quick. Good horsey. Be good horsey. Alright. Probably should follow the pathway. That would be a little bit easier. Ooh, mushrooms! Always pick up mushrooms! What's this? Uh, some bad guys? I don't want to bother with them. Ooh! Well, there's more stuff. Need to make some food. Next time I find a good fire pit, I think I should do that. Probably should have done that before we left, but it's too late now. Good horsey. Alright, I think I see the path we need to go. This is so much quicker than walking. Alright, there's a giant wall right here. That looks like a good spot to go to. Fort Hatino. Here we are. Hello, sir. Hiya, my name's Geral. Come to see Fort Hatino, I take it? That's right. Figured as much, it's well worth seeing. Fort Hatino here was the last line of defense between Hatino Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in life, right? Sounds good to me. There's a cooking pot, but I'm not going to do what I said and actually cook anything. Ooh, can we? Don't kill me, bees! Oop, yep. There we go. Ooh! What the heck was that? There's a deer. He tried to kill me. I was not expecting that. Alright. But look, we got some honey. Alright. Should we try this again? Alright. These bees are actually pretty tough. Oh! No, they just went away. I guess they, they saw what happened to the last bees and didn't want any part of that. Can we go in this house? Let me in. Hey! There's a person in here. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around there. What are you up to? Ha! Let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Calypso's groundbreaking just research and just had to meet him for yourself, huh? No? Don't tell me you never even heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. Ah, <sighs> well, you'd better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Callop, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callop. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient text. I haven't had, or I haven't time for idle chit-chat. Ancient text? Soon, my long years of research will be revealed, and all the world will hail it as discovery of the century, blah blah blah. Prevent any undue attention, haven't told my family about it, you understand? Of course, doctor. Doctor. Did I just hear you call me doctor? As in, not merely Callop, but Dr. Callop? It rolled off your tongue so naturally, it was downright salivary. You just told us to... Hmm. This changes things. Very well then, I'm feeling charitable, so I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us. Uh, dark light, cursed statue, purge seal, blah blah blah. 
still deciphering. I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights stun spent studying ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passing strangers, so farewell. For someone who has no time to converse, you really, really had a lot of talking. There's a worn looking book. Uh, same thing that he just said. Okay. I assume we'll do that eventually. Can I leave here, please? Thank you. All right. Ooh, look at all those apples. This is a waste of arrows. Okay, I'll stop wasting arrows now. Oh no! All the apples fell in the river! I got my arrows back, though. All right. Let's continue on our journey, shall we? But first, what is this? Oh. I don't think it's anything special. There's something sparkly over here. Some mushrooms. Okay. Back to our journey. Ah, oh, you're not what I was looking for. Alright, where's my horse? Why are you going through the water? Come on. We need to continue on our journey to the blinky yellow dot. Hey, there's someone else on a horse. Hello. Bye-bye. I should probably talk to this person. Turn, horse. Thank you. Okay. Hello. I can tell you've trained your body well. I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiga clan? I'll pass. What? You're refusing? Why don't you... At least hear what I've got to say first. The Yiga clan, it's a powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero long thought dead. I will take your life. Yep, I thought that's what that was, this was going to be about. Here we go for some fun battles. And I'm still not very good at battling. Ouch! Holy shoot! That hurt. Uh, let's eat some peppers. <laughs> Stop disappearing! Isn't there a quick way to dodge? I don't remember. Oh, here it comes. Ah, oh, that was close. Okay. Uh, time to eat this. Die, Yiga clan! He's not even attacking me anymore. There we go. We did it. And we got a vicious sickle. And lots of rupees. And some bananas. That was definitely worth it. Now let's throw away something because I definitely want this sickle. Uh, let's drop that. Awesome! Okay, back onto our journey to the yellow blinking dot. Ooh, what's this? There seems to be a donkey. Hello, sir. Sails pick up and sails slow down, but I know my donkey will stick around. I wonder if I can find someone to set my poem to music. I'd love it if you bought something, but I mean, I'm happy just to show you what I've got for sale. The rest is up for you. Huh? Alright. Uh, no, I don't need goat butter. Although, I probably should buy something here. Then I can put this all into a thingy and see what it makes. Alright. Thank you. Um, are you ready? No. Who knows, maybe we'll meet again, maybe not. Can't waste your time stressing about unknowns. True, true. Ah, okay. Speaking of unknown, let's get out of here before these unknown critters come and kill me. What's up here? I feel like something special should be up here. What do we got? A firefly that I was too slow to catch. Now... Can we... There we go. 
And then pick this up. And hey! I knew there was going to be something up here. We got a cork seed. Bye-bye. Ah, there we go. There's a bridge. Very dangerous looking bridge. No! No! My horse! Swim! Oh, at least he can swim. Oh, we're in a bit of a pickle now, aren't we? All I wanted to do was get to Hatino Village. How do I get out of this? I'm going to die. I'm going to drown to death. There's there's no way out. I have no stamina of recovering things. I'm about to drown. No. <laughs> <sighs> that didn't quite work. Where's my horse? Well, I think we may have lost our horse. I don't want to leave him down there, but I also want to get stuff done. Go away! That's alright, he'll make his way to shore. He's a smart horse. Maybe if I just call him this way, he'll swim over this way. We'll come back for him. I promise. If I don't forget. Alright, I think we're almost there. We're closing in on the blinky yellow dot. We found a hardy radish. Is this? Oh, this isn't Hatino Village. This is the quest for what the guy was talking about. Are you the same guy? Hey, there you are. Oh. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gates to purge the seal from the shrine. Oh. I've been pondering the dark light mentioned here for some time, and I must admit I'm stumped. Light can't be dark, obviously, unless... Whoops, can't go divulging my research before I publish, now can I? Please? Oh. Today's research trip is on hold. My glasses are uncomfortably metallic in this weather. My life could be at risk. What do you mean? I don't mind a little rain, but the lightning in Hyrule is, al is alarmingly attracted to anything men metallic. No, on days like this, it's best to shut oneself in and wait for the rain to clear. If you must go gallivanting across the countryside, take care you don't get struck, at least. Which probably means take off this. Anyways, what statue are we piercing? There's quite a lot of statues in here. This big one? I am a little bit stumped. I'm not sure what to do. When the dark light resides. But what's the dark light? Huh. Well, we did not make it to Hatino Village because I got turned around. So we were supposed to go way over there and then I got distracted. But maybe in the next episode we'll be able to save our horse and make it to Hatino Village. And perhaps even figure out what the this little puzzle thing is. I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Anyways, I think that's gonna be all for this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys!